Hi, welcome back to Escape Forever Free. Here we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This is week two of our four day, one month workout routine. We will be working this week on our lower body. Last week we burned our upper body with some simple yet very impactful exercise moves. Now, this week we are going to focus on our lower body. Before we go any further, let us pray. Father, we thank you for taking us to here week two. Thank you for sparing our lives. As we put our bodies before you, we pray that you'll forgive us of all our sins. We pray that you'll strengthen our bones, our muscles. We pray that you'll give us good breathing. We pray, Father, that as we exercise now, you will favor us and bless every effort that we put forward in faith to make our bodies fit, well, and wholesome for service. Oh, Jesus, do the greater work within us. Clean us from within as we continue to invest in our physical well-being. Oh God, as we go before you now, take full control, give us all the stamina and the energy we need and keep us motivated, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so this morning we're going to be working our lower body, as I said, and before we do that, we do warm up together. We do the routine, then you double the routine on your own and you do cool down together. Let me give you an idea as to what we're doing today. So today we'll be doing what I have described as one sumo squats, two crouching, crouching up and out glute kicks, crouching up and out glute kicks. We'll be doing lounge pulses and we'll be doing some glute bridges. All of these will be focused on our lower body, working our thighs, our legs, our glutes, and to an extent our cores making them strengthened, making them toned, and making them more flexible. So let's get our water and get straight into it with our warm-up warm activity. Make sure you have your water, okay? get ourselves warmed up. Stretch. Nice stretch here for the legs and the arms and the neck. Work our waist. Change direction. Speed it up. Change direction. Let's stretch those legs. Hold it up. Work the ankles while you're at it. Change. Step back. Catch the next leg up. Stretch. Pull. Circle both ankles. Change. Let's catch it in the back. Stretch, find the balance, hold. Return, change leg, catch it in the back, find the balance, stretch. Return, go back to the waist. Circle, rotate in. Change. Speed it 
up a little bit. You know what this time you're breathing. All right, so we're gonna stretch again, take it up. Hold, circle both ankles. We're going clockwise right now, keep it there. Keep the leg on the floor straight. That feet flat, change. Step back, catch the next leg up, pull. Circle those ankles, keep the leg straight on the ground. Feet firmly into the floor. Keep the balance, keep your form. Circle that ankle, return. Let's stretch up. Up as far as you can go, reach for the ceiling. Let's go down to the toes, legs apart. Find those toes, hold it. Head forward. Breathe. Let's go back up. Legs together. Up. As far as you can reach. You're on your toe points here. And all this time, you're breathing. Let's go back down. Find those toes. Look out. Feel that stretch behind your knee, feel it. Stretch those legs, stretch those calves. Return. All right, so we're gonna go in the back again, grab that leg. Find a balance. Hold. Return. Change. Hold it. Find the balance. Turn. All right. We're going to do some apart together now. After we do our ankles a little bit more. Rotate. You know that move already. Going clockwise right now. Keep the upper body erect and in form. Change direction. Step back. Next ankle. Rotating, anti-clockwise, change direction. All right, let's do some jumping jacks. One, two, three. Change. straight into our routine let's slow down with a little walk in then we're gonna have some water and begin walk that out walk 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 and return swing those arms stretch those legs walk 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 and let's get some water and let's go into our routine All right, so to give, go into the routine, I have to give you some change of view. So we're gonna change this view. So let's change this view for you so you can see what's going on on the other side. All right, so we want to be starting with some sumo squats, and then we're going to be moving after that sumo squat into our crouching up and out glutes, then our lounge pulses and our glute bridges. I'm going to keep this near me so I don't forget your routine. All right, so we're going to start out with some sumo squats. Let's see how much view you have right here.
All right, we're not quite ready for mat work yet. So we're gonna move this mat a little bit down. All right, so you can see me right here doing our spots. Go up a little bit with that. All right. You need to change a little bit on that view. Okay, so are you ready now? Here we go. So you're gonna put the legs apart. Let's focus on the lower body, which is where the work is happening. All right. And then while legs are apart, you are going to bend them. So it's like a squat. And you're gonna to go to pointy toes to lift those thighs and that glutes in between. So I want your legs apart, slightly pointed. And you're gonna squat, hold for about a good two, five seconds. And you're gonna come back up and point that way. All right, so I still need some lower view on that. All right, so let's do this. Ready? Legs apart. One. Hold a little bit longer. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. We're still in our 10 stages for the amount per round. We'll be moving to 20s in a few. All right? Maybe another month or so. Nine. Ten. Woo! For the next one, we'll not be going so long. We want to do more in-between squats. So let's shake that out a little bit. Shake that out. As you know, we're doing four for each round. All right, let's go. So squat again, one, pointy toes, a little bit more apart, hold, two, three, four, five, all this time you're breathing, six, seven, keep those legs wide, it, it's burning, but it's good. One. Two. Okay, shake that out and come again. Shake that out. You're doing this, guys. You're doing it. We are doing this. Let's get some water in to help that burning. Mm. All right. Let us now go. Into our last two for our squats. Ready? Let's do our sumo with our pointy toes. Here we go. Wide legs. One. Point. Hold. Two. Three. It's also very good cardiovascular because of the movement it requires up and down. Four. So your heart should be pumping as you're doing this one. While your thighs are burning and your legs and your inner thigh are getting some extra work. Seven, three, four, five. Do not go all the way down when you bend. Stay like so. Six. That's it. Hold it there. Feel those thighs burning. Inner thighs. Nine. That should be seven actually. Eight. One. Two. Three. One for Grace. Woo! Okay. Shake that out, guys. Walk that out. We have one more to go. We did it. Let's go. We're doing it. Both sides will love you for it. Come on, let's do this. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Let's go in, last one in this row, let's go. We can do this, legs apart, pointing opposite direction, parallel basically, let's go. Ready? Right, we can do this, let's do this. 
Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight, one, woo, two, oh, it's burning, and one for Grace. Ah! All right, we've done it. So that marks number one in our routine, so far completed. And all this time, you are breathing. Let's work it out a little bit. Rotate those anchors and rotate that side at the same time. Work it out a little bit. Shake it out and definitely get some water in. All right. So now we're done our sumo squat. We're now going to move to our core chin. Up and out, glute kicks. Well, to get you with that, I need to get your mat and get you some more view. So here we go. All right, here we go. Can you see that mat? I hope you can. All right, so you ready? Get it closer for you. All right, I'm gonna give you a side view for this one. All right, so position. All right, like so on your mat. All right, you want to position like so on your mat. All right, it's up to you. Once you're approaching like this, side approaching position. All right, or even like so. Choose your angle. All right, just make sure you have your form. Back is straight. Um, butt is tucked out. All right, not too much dipping in the back right there. At the lower lumbar, keep your back aligned to the floor, all, flowing all the way to your lower, lower lumbar and your butt as much as you can and your head in a similar lining from your spine. All right, so I'm choosing this direction and we're gonna begin. So you're crouching, keep your hand firm, about the hip length apart, your hands are, also your legs, all right? So we're gonna go like this, all right? Raise, squeeze, and I prefer to start, oh, my tall So let's go up first, all right? Keep your form as best as you can. Return, out, return, up, return, out, return. However, all this time, you are not going back down. Everything is done mid-air once you take your leg off the ground. We're going in for 10 of those. Are you ready? Let's do this. Here we go. One, no, we're going up first, sorry. One, keep the form and push out. Two, kick up like that with your legs bended. Return. Three. So we've done these before standing, but now we're doing them crouching. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One. Two. This is one exercise in which every area of that area that you're focusing on, which is our thighs in this case, is working at the same time. So even while this leg is raised, the one that is on the floor is being worked, it's been torn. Here we go, let's change legs. One. So you're working that glutes, you're squeezing it as you go up, making it tight, firm, and fit. You're also working that thigh, giving it stamina, strength, and toning. And your leg, while it is raised and bent, is also being toned. Four. Keep your form. Fast is not necessary. Keep your form. Six. Tightening up that glute. Seven. And making your muscles well toned, strong, full of endurance. Eight. One, it's burning, guys. Woo. Two, woo. three, woo. Woo, so that's just 
one in our set, do a nice back stretch for that. Get some of that out, stretch back like so. And also stretch forward like so. Woo! And stretch back again. I'm gonna walk a little bit that out as well. Then we're gonna come back to it. All right, so let's go in for number two. You can do this. Ready? Position. Let's go. Keep your form as best as you can. Not too much bending. I know you have to do some amounts of it, but not too much. Keep your form, keep your back aligned and steady as best as you can. One, below your thigh and your butt to do the work. Two, go in the wrong direction, really. Let's call it two anyway. Three, Four, breathe guys. Five, still doing the wrong thing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want for grace, right? Yeah, we're doing one for grace. Feel that. Let's change legs. Ready? Up. Off the ground. One. Let's go up first. One. Two. Control movement. Not too much flinging. Control those muscles so we don't strain any. Three. Four. Allow your butt and your thighs to do the work. Control your core. Six. Seven. One. Two. Three. One for breath. Please don't stop breathing. Breathe. Oh. Ooh, that's only two. Stretch it out a little bit. Actively stretch that out. And let's go in for number three. Are you ready? Let's do this, guys. One. Two. Squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, one, two, three, one for grace. Oh, I can feel it. Let's go to the next side. One, two, three, point up. Three. 
me, guys. Eight. One. Two. So we're doing 10 of these for each leg. Let's go. So, give you some more lower view as well. Still. Excuse me. So, lounge. Leg is behind. So we want you to see more. Good. And pulse. The control movement. You're going to bounce like that. In that position for five. One, two, three, four. Five. Here, you're strengthening your core, you're wearing down your waist, you're tightening your thighs, and your calves are getting some work at the same time. Let's go again. It seems like we need to do it for 10, and we're doing 10 of them. Let's go. We still call that one though. All right, I'm giving you one for three. Ready? Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Woo, this is not a chicken move at all. You have to be ready for this. And you need to be strong, and it will definitely make you stronger at the end of this routine. All right, lounge again. Ready? Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so staying on your toe point makes it more challenging. If it's too challenging for you, I think when you see, you can probably stay flat with it in the front. All right, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, very challenging, guys, very challenging. That's three. Got seven more to go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to keep your core as erect as possible. Let's give you some more. Lower view, still yet. So you can see what's happening with those legs. It's a very challenging move, but we can do it. Let's go. We're going in for five. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! My legs are shaking. All right, so that's five. Shake it out a little bit. Active breath. Let's go. Active breath. Shake it out. Get some water. All right, let's go in for six. Lounge. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, your glutes is benefiting from this as well. We're now going to 
going to go in for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Stretch back. Forward. Stretch it out. All right. Going in for eight now. Ready? Pulse. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! This challenges your thighs extensively. All right. Let's go for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! Oh, one more to go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right. We're going to change legs now. We're all sweating by now, I'm sure. Let's change legs. Ready? Crouch forward, pulse. Get a position good first. No touching, no support. Stretch that out. Position, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Woo! Let's go for two. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Two. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go again for three. Lounge. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two, feel that right here. Three, and right here. Four. Woo! All right. That's four. Stretch that out. Woo! Let's go for five. Lounge. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Feel it right here. And right here. Six, seven, and on the bed, it comes. Eight. Nine, ten, woo! All right, woo! All right, we're going in for six. Let's get some water in. Mm. All right, let's go. Position, lounge, pulse, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. All right, that was six. Rise up, stretch that out. Active your wrist. Let's go for seven. Lounge. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, we've got two more to go. Woo! All right, so we're challenging ourselves this morning. We're challenging ourselves. All right, everybody should be sweating by now. This is a sweating lower body routine. So we're also going to be slimming down for those who need to. Of course, I don't. So let's go. Lounge. Pulse. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Challenge your course. Challenge your stamina. Seven, one, two. Strengthen your thighs. Let's, woo! All right, up. One more to go. Woo! Feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. 
Let's do this. I'm sweating and I'm burning at the same time. Sweating and burning and strengthening and toning. Woo! Water package. Get some water in. And let's go. Very number 10. Lounge. Let's go. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Are we going to do one for grace, guys? Tell me. I know you don't want to, but let's do it. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's challenge ourselves. And we're going to do one for grace. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. One for grace. Lounge. Pulse. One. Two. Three. Five. Seven. One. Two. Three. Woo! My legs are tremoring for that one. Let's stretch that out. Okay, some quick step for that. Stretch that out, guys. Walk that out. Walk that out. Walk that out. Walk that out. Quick step. Quick step. Woo! Can feel it. Swing, swing, swing. Keep it swinging. All right. So we've done that one, and we've got one more to go, and that will be our glute bridges. So we go back to our mat for that one. All right. So here we're going back to the floor. For our glute bridges. Whew. We've done it before, so you should have an idea as to what it's like. So, let's get down to work. Get me some close up view on it. Alright, so you know we go down for this. And do some raising of the leg in the whole matter. And we'll be raising our core and our glutes at the same time. All right, so you're down and got your side for support. All right, get your legs up, one in the air. Let's start with the right leg or the left leg. Let's stretch this out a little bit because we did use it up just now. Stretch, hold that, hold that. Point as far as you can. Stretch, points as far as you can. All right, go across. Turn. Stretch off as far as you can. Point as far as you can. Hold. Pull towards your chest. Stretch up a little bit more as far as you can. Across. Armstrong is a little bit tight. Relax. Return. Stretch out. Stretch back. We stop one, two, three. Both legs up now. Hold. Pull towards your breast or your chest. Point up. Point up as far as you can. Support. All right. A lot to fall. A lot to fall. Return. Fall. Return, fall, return, fall, return, fall, return, fall back up again, stretch out, point as far as you can point, point it, point your toes, all right, so now we're ready, bend your legs. Position your head, comfortable spot, hands at your side, raise one leg, take the butt off the ground, and that's it, return, do not touch the ground if you don't have to, two, three, so you're raising those glutes, please as you go up, four, five, six, seven, all right, let's do the next one, raise, point if you can, one, two, three, work that hip on that glute, four, five, squeeze, 
minutes as you go up. Six, breathe. Seven. All right, so we're going to change. Let's go again. One, two, three. Working that glute right here and that upper thigh right there. Arms can get in some support. Six, seven, down. Change. Woo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one for grace. Change. Yes, we're doing seven for this. We've done a lot of work on the hips and the thighs, so don't want to overdo it. Two, three, four. This is my weaker side. Seven, eight. You might find you have a weaker side in this move, so watch it. All right? And don't strain. Try to be relaxed as much as you can. If you're too stiff and too tense, you strain. Some muscle in your back or hip. Four, five, six, seven. This is not easy, guys. Let's go for two more. One. Two, three, five, seven. Let's go to the next one. One, two, three, five, seven. We got two more to go, guys. Let's do it. Yes, I know it's burning and I'm tired too. One more. One, two, three. Bring five. One. Woo! All this time, you are breathing. Let's go. Last one. for being with us throughout this routine. Continue to be with all the committed workout persons in this routine this morning. Help them to go to the end, give them strength to endure, and bless them for every step of faith they take as they exercise in these efforts. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer, amen. Go ahead, finish that workout and walk good. But above all, walk with God.